there is really not the shortage of COBOL programmers right now that people think there is. It's just not, right? It's just the, the people that need them just don't know where they are. But there is going to be. <laughs> Five or ten years, there's going to be because nobody's teaching COBOL. And these, these folks are retiring every day. And if you're not teaching something and you somebody the leaves, somebody's got to learn how to do that. <laughs> and somebody's got to teach them how to do that. So, so you think today's training – will be more valuable five to 10 years out. I, I do. I do. No, no, I do. I, I can say that without reservation because, of, because of the, of the, of the dynamics of it, people are, gra- are, 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 you can't see me. People yeah. are retiring at one point um, and people are coming to in the industry at a much lower mm-hmm. point. Right. right. So, so the numbers are what they are. But if, and if I didn't believe that, I mean, and I'm open to data to the contrary, because I don't, the last thing I'm going to do is mislead students. I'm not going to, enough of that's going on. Sure. Uh, but I, I'm just not seeing those bad numbers though. I'm not. Oh. What is the working environment of one of these developers? Like, is it re- remote, work from home? Like, sometimes you're attracted to environment, and sometimes you're attracted to uh, a money outcome or a financial outcome. You know, 80 grand a year is not that bad of an income. It's a really great income. But at the same time, if you're a software developer, you can go and get a quarter million dollar salary at a startup or something that was just recently funded doing different work. So maybe that's this person's commentary oh, yeah. from that yeah. perspective. Yeah. I'm not trying to really go there necessarily, but I'm just kind of curious, like if we, if the, if in five to 10 years, there'll be a shortage, that means we need to have a, we need to have more come into it. So that means there has to be a desire to come into it and potentially uh, an environment where they're in software development and call, called themselves a software developer, but then choose a lane that makes less money in comparison to other lanes they could choose to be in. So what is the environment? What are the opportunities? How does it work? Do they get great pay? I mean, great vacation. Are there other benefits? Like what are the non monetary, non financial, strictly salary speaking benefits of that? Great, environment great question. Folks? Great question. And, and I will tell you, I mean, you, and you make some you great, make some great points, Adam, because 80 grand a year is not a lot of money for an experienced seasoned developer. But I will tell you this, coming in the door, a lot of my folks have not written a line of code, right? They've not written a line of code. So it's a great, it's the only entree for them into the industry, to development. Now, once they get there, once they get with Bank of America, wherever they're going, they're a developer. They're using the same tools everybody else is using. They're using Git, they're using Jira, they're using all the, 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 the big data stuff. Same tools. One, there's one set of tools now and one set of development processes. Also, they're working with applications that are, that are talking to other languages. Go. Python, Java. So they, they are becoming, in the truest sense of the word, developers. And I've not seen one of my students that came in as a very, no matter what junior developer they were, they stayed in. And, and all these I'm talking about came in mainframe side of the house. All of them are senior software engineers now. All of them, not mainframe engineers, senior software engineers at the enterprise level. So it, it can lead somewhere. It can lead to those other things. And I've got folks making 250 now. I've got people making 250. But they're, on the, they're architects. They're architects, you know, or they're in sales. But the money's there. I'm just trying to get them in the door. I, I buy the money argument. I buy the money argument. But then at the same time, when somebody says, okay, they can make more money doing something, well, tell me how to place this person better then. If that's true, tell me what better I can do with this person. Because this person has no background. This person, if they don't get in the mainframe door, Then open another door for them. Let them in another door. 